it in the middle and one loop to meet the other and we're going to pinch it in the middle and we're going to keep going until we have loops that are even on each side that's four it depends on how big you want to make the bow as you see I make a lot of bows and Christmas is the season and wire ribbon is really easy to work with because every year you can actually fluff it up and reuse them again. I even use this ribbon outside. Even though it's a cloth ribbon, it stays from year to year. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire and you have your hand. It's all about your hand holding the bow. If you keep practicing, you're going to get it. And then you're going to take your wire and pull it as hard as you can and hold that bow. And you're going to have your wire hanging down. Pull it really, really tight and twist. You might want to go around one more time with the wire and leave yourself enough wire that you can tie it onto your wreath. And what the next step is, you're going to cut the ribbon. And you're going to make your tails. Okay, I cut the ribbon that it's going to be just like that. What you can do is you can fold your ribbon. I'll show you on this. You can fold your ribbon like that and cut downward. And you would get your beads. Okay, now we're going to put our bow onto our wreath. I'm going to put it right in the middle on the bottom. Watch real carefully. Just pull it really tight. Wire your bow onto the wreath. Then you later on you'll just rough away again. A little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is have your stick bows on. I'm going to take my poinsettias first. I have three poinsettias and I'm going to place them one in the middle on top from the bow. Then I'm going to put another poinsettia on the side and this side. First you're going to take your hot glue gun, put a little glue, but be careful you don't get burnt. Make sure it's even with your ribbon and put it on top. Push it down and then grab your other poinsettia, add your glue, and put it to the side. Now your third poinsettia is going to be even, even with the other poinsettias on the other side. So now you can leave it just like that if you wanted to. But I like glitz. So I'm going to put my picks on all the sides. And here we go. We're going to go right down on the bottom. 
Even it out. Little hot glue. Be careful. In between your point setters. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I have a little trick, and I like glitz, I told you. So, I take a little regular spray snow, you can get anywhere, and you want it to look like the snow has just fallen, and it's called flocking. So you flock your weed. Be careful that you don't overdo it. Lock the edges a little bit. And after you're done flocking, do another little trick. I take this stuff in a can, cold spray adhesive, and I get my favorite little snow. See? It snows anywhere you like. And what you do is you spray the spray adhesive on to your poinsettias. And you just add a little bit of glitz and glamour onto it. And it looks really pretty. I hope you can see that on camera. Okay, this is the finished product. As you can see, we hung the wreath and everything is up. And we just have to fluff our bow. And year to year, what you're going to do is, if you want to keep it fresh, the snow will come off, and you'll just spray it again, fluff up the bow, and add your little sparkles, and it would be like new. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cottage Crafts with Betty Jean, and we'll see you in the new year. Happy Holidays!